Tim and Sophie, today mental health counselors met with South Sioux City Police for their annual review of what to do when responding to a mental health crisis in the community. The South Sioux City Police Department and Heartland Counseling Services reviewed how to help mentally ill people. Chief of Police Ed Mahon said the station has made a lot of progress over the last few years. With their help, it's hard to imagine how far we've come as a department and a, the agency of Heartland to give the people of uh, this county and this city better uh, service. Mahon remembers the challenges of handling mental health calls before the officers started working with the counseling service. When, uh, when I first started, you would get a call of a uh, suicidal person possibly, and you'd have to go up and basically an officer that really wasn't had any mental health training, you had to try to make a determination. It was very difficult, especially if somebody said, well, he said he was going to kill himself. The officers learned how to act in various scenarios, as well as procedures for interacting with mentally ill individuals. Heartland Counseling Services Executive Director Jennifer Jackson said the counselors helped take pressure off the police. We want to be preventive, and so if it, we have an individual who calls the police department in crisis, they can always call us at Heartland and Heartland can then help respond. Heartland's help is not just limited to people with suicidal thoughts. Let's say we, they have somebody who continues to call on a regular basis, maybe not be in crisis, but the police department knows that they may be struggling with their mental health. They can also call Heartland and then we can follow up with those clients. Jackson told me that Heartland Counseling Services get the majority of referrals for mental health help from two sources, schools and the South Sioux City Police. Nick Wilson, KCAU 9 News.